Whatever your level on the harmonica, by the end of this video, you'll increase your swagger as you learn some moves like Jagger. My name is Luke with harmonica.com, and I'm going to walk you through five iconic Rolling Stone songs from total noob to advanced level. Let's go. Level 1, Total Noob. Even if today is your first day learning how to play the harmonica, you can still do this. They say the great football coach Vince Lombardi was all about fundamentals and every year he would start his team by saying, this is a football. It's always good to review the fundamentals of a nice steady airflow and a deep relaxed mouth position. Playing along with you can't always get what you want is a fun way to learn or review this. If today's literally your first date, you might wanna go check out this video real quick and then come back and join us. All we're gonna do is just breathe in through the first three holes on the harmonica for four counts and then we're gonna breathe out through them for four counts. Nice, gentle, steady airflow in a nice, deep, relaxed mouth position. Let's try doing that along with the song. You Once you can do that, we're gonna add some syllables to mimic the rhythm of the acoustic guitar pattern. Say this with me. Ta, 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 ka, ta, ka, ta. Ta, 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 ka, ta. Ka. Now we're gonna add one ka right before the third ta, like this. Ta, ta, ka, ta, 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 ka, ta, ka. Ta, ta, ka, ta, 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 ka, ta, ka. Now we're gonna try whispering those syllables as we breathe in one time and then whispering them as we breathe out one time. Ready? Go. Da da ka da 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 ka da ka da da ka da 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 ka da. And then just stick the harp in your kisser. If you were going to play along with the original recording, you would need a low F harmonica. But in today's lesson, we're using our trusty C harmonica. I've made some jam tracks so we can do all of this on our C harmonica. Let's rock. Level two, no sweat. Now that we've played one of Keith Richards acoustic guitar parts, let's go ahead and try playing one of his electric guitar parts together. This song requires that you know how to isolate notes. If you haven't learned how to isolate notes yet, you can check out this video right here. To play along with the original recording, you would need an A harmonica. But today we're gonna use our C harmonicas. We're gonna be playing this as a D minor lick. And that's what we call third position. All third position means is that we are using our harmonica to play in a song key that is one letter name above the letter that is printed on the harmonica. We're gonna start by playing two times on the draw four. Let's find draw four. Here's draw one. Draw two, draw three, draw four. That's gonna be our first note. We're gonna play it two times. Now we're gonna play draw four, blow five, draw five. Now we play draw five twice and blow five once. And then we're back to the beginning. So let's just play it like that a couple times. Ready, go. Now you could play it exactly like that, but Keith Richards really varies the rhythm of this riff quite a bit. What we're gonna do is play it like that one time, and then we play it one time where we just add one blow five and draw four at the end to make the rhythm a little bit more interesting. It'll sound like this. All right, let's try that one time together nice and slow. Ready, go.
All right, you ready to take it a bit faster? Let's go ahead and try and jam it with the band. Level three, beginner's challenge. For level three, we are gonna learn the actual harmonica part to one of the most popular songs from Exile on Main Street, which was released in 1972. This is Sweet Virginia, and let's check out Mick Jagger playing it in 1995 on the Voodoo Lounge Tour. This is not complicated, but it's good. Remember, if it sounds good and it feels good, it is good. And this simple song starts on a blow four. Let's find hole number four. We're gonna blow on hole four for four counts and then we're gonna draw on hole four for almost four counts. After those two long notes, then we're gonna do a faster blow draw on four and end on five. Now we're gonna blow five and then draw, blow, draw on hole four and that'll turn us back around to the beginning again. And then we're back to the beginning. A long four, a long draw four, but this time we're not gonna do the quick blow draw on four, we're just gonna go straight to five like this. And that five right there, we hold for the longest note of any one that we've held so far. We hold it for like six beats. The end of the second line ends just like the end of the first line. And then we're back to another blow four. Draw four. Now we're just going blows right up. Five, six, seven, and then up to eight. Draw eight. Blow seven. <laughs> Warning, draw eight is a very difficult hole for beginners. The two holes that I hear beginners struggling with the most are the draw eight or all the high draws about draw eight, draw nine, draw 10, but especially draw eight and then draw two. The tips for getting those holes to sound good are the same. We wanna drop the jaw, let it fall down to the floor and be loose and relaxed. We don't want tension in the jaw like this. And then the back of the tongue, we don't want it to be up in the k zone. If you say k, k, and you feel the back of your tongue touching the hard palate at the top of your mouth, we don't want it k, k, k. We want it nice and low, more like when we yaw. And then also really important is to use a nice gentle airflow, not too much air pressure. If you play really hard, it's gonna choke up the reed and sound bad. So drop jaw, lower the back of the tongue, and keep that airflow steady but gentle. Here we go. One, two, three, four. singer, Mick Jagger has phenomenal breathing, and heck, he could be the poster child for the deep relaxed mouth position. But let's check him out playing this last line on another night at the same theater on the same tour. Check this out. Notice that messing up the draw eight doesn't rattle his confidence. He just nonchalantly mutters, oh dear. And the crowd actually cheers. So next time you struggle with the draw eight, remember you're in good company and don't lose your swagger. Level four, hard. This riff is hard because it requires bending and specifically the draw two whole step bend.
If playing single notes for you is easy and you haven't learned how to bend yet, you can check out this video. And if you're looking for a fast track on how to play the harmonica, you might like checking out my Beginner to Boss course where I assume you've never touched a harmonica and take you systematically in bite-sized steps from total beginner to total boss. Check it out at harmonica.com. Here's the killer harmonica riff from the studio version of Midnight Rambler from the 1969 release, Let It Bleed. We're gonna start by playing what I call a draw three, four trill. And all that is, is we have one continual breath in and we start on hole number three and we just go back and forth between hole three and four. And just start slow and get faster and faster. Harmonica players will also refer to this as a shake or a warble. And you can move your hand or you can move your head or you can move both. For me, moving my head gives me a headache, so I move my hand. But do whatever works well for you. After the draw three, four trill, then we're gonna play two times on the draw two. And then here's our draw two whole step bend. Let's find that bend. So here's draw two. Now let's bend it down. going to start playing that in the bent position. If you've never started a note in the bent position, the way to practice it is by doing just what we did, starting released, bringing it down to the bent position, then just trying to stop your airflow and keep your mouth in exactly the same position, stop the airflow, start it again. So like this. That's the way to practice being able to start from the bent position. So that's what we're going to do here. We're going to start at the draw two whole step bent and release it. So the whole thing sounds like. And then that first line will repeat again. So we'll play the first line exactly the same two times. And then the last time we just do that two whole step bend, release it and ta 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 ta. Let's go rock it with the band. A one, two, ready, go. was a record that was played in my household a lot by my father when I was growing up. This is called Hot Rocks. It was a collection of songs from 1964 to 1971, and it contains a live version of Give Me Shelter, Midnight Rambler Live. That's the one. I want to show you the riff that Mick Jagger plays at the beginning and then again at 2 minutes and 22 seconds. It's just draw one, draw two whole step bend, and then release to draw two played two times like this. Level five. Dang it! Our level five song is Miss You from the 1978 record Some Girl. And this track isn't actually Mick Jagger playing the harmonica. Instead, it's the great legendary harmonica player Sugar Blue. Sugar Blue is playing a D harmonica in second position in the key of A minor. For our lesson here, of course, we'll be playing it in G minor so we can use our trusty C harp. The reason this song is level five is because we are playing in second position over a minor progression, and that's a lot harder than playing in second position over a major progression. We're gonna start on the draw two whole step bend and then release it. Then we're gonna jump up to blow four. Now here's our draw three half step bend. All right, here's draw three released. We got to bend that down to the half step. And then we're back to the draw two. We're gonna bend it down a whole step and release it. So if we do that whole thing really slowly. Play that two times, and then the third time, we start in the draw two whole step, release it, and then we just do draw three, half step bend, and back to draw two. And that's the whole thing. It's not super complicated, it's just that it requires a lot of bending precision. One, two, three. I 
want to do right now is get into a couple of cool licks that Sugar Blue plays at the end of this tune. How about this one? And this is so cool because this is just what I was talking about in my Amazing Grace video level four. When you want to get things to the next level, kind of superimposing a third position riff over a second position song. This is a really fun and cool thing to do and it's a way that kind of creates excitement. So let's check this out. We're starting on the draw four. We're bending into that. Okay, so we're starting half step down and bending into it. Now we're gonna jump up to the draw six and we're gonna bend up into that. Then blow six, draw five, and then draw four, bent down and released. Ready, go. She's taking a riff kind of like what he's playing in the second position, extrapolating that up into third position. You hear the similarity, right? The next riff he plays, he blows on six, then bends into the draw six. Then he slides, draw six, draw seven, draw eight, draw nine, and ends on the blow nine. So. Now coming back down, draw nine, draw eight, blow seven, draw seven, draw six, blow six, draw five, draw four, bend down and release. Blow four, draw three, half step bend. And then draw four, half step bend and release. And then comes my favorite riff of all in this section. The first four notes are kind of in third position, which is blow six, draw six, draw five, draw four. And then it switches to second position. Blow four, draw three, bend down a half step, blow four, draw three, bend down a half step, draw two. And then he does a quick draw three half step bend to blow four and then a draw four half step bend and he holds that one for a long time before he bends it up. Something like this. And then as it begins to fade out, he does a blow four and then he does a draw three half step bend and he starts messing with the bending and kind of bending it even deeper than the draw three half step. Like. Let's try this whole part. One, two, three. just one of the 25 iconic rock riffs you can hear in this video starting in 1964 and going all the way to 2014. Please check it out and let me know which riff is your favorite.